So now that we have created two new features out of our data, we're gonna go ahead and try to determine if any of those features is a good candidate for transformation. Hi, this is Shanko and welcome back to NLP with Python. So in a previous chapter, we uh, created uh, these two features out of our data set. So we created the text length uh, feature and the pump portion feature and we tried to plot them on overlaid histograms for our uh, ham and spam labels and this is how our uh, punk, uh, how our text length uh, his overlaid histogram looked and uh, this was our histogram overlaid histogram for uh, punk portion column so now we're going to go ahead and try to determine if any of those features form a good candidate for transformation and we're going to try to understand what transformation actually means so first up I'm going to say from matplotlib import pyplot and I'm going to say import numpy as np and uh, matplotlib is inline and I'm gonna go ahead and create the bins so first we would be working with uh, the text length column so I would say bins underscore length equals I would say np dot lint space and we we'll start from 0 till 200 and we'd have 40 cut points and uh, I would say pyplot dot hist we are working with the text length column of data set so we are working with this column of data set first and I would say text underscore length and I would pass in the bins so that's bins underscore length and let's give this histogram a title so I'm going to say pyplot dot title and let's call this uh, text length histogram and I would say pyplot dot show and I would do the same thing for uh, the other column which is the uh, which is the punct portion column so next we'll be plotting trying to plot this uh, column punct portion column so I would set uh, the upper limit to 40 and the cut points would be uh, for uh, the upper limit to 50 and the cut points would be 40 as the previous one and uh, the link uh, and the name of the bins would be bins underscore punct and I would copy this and pass in the bins here and we are working with the punct person column so right now we are trying to plot this column punct person column so I would say uh, punct person and I would name this punctuation percent histogram and I would just go ahead and run this so these are our, uh, our histograms so this is for uh, the text length and this is for the punctuation percent now this graph looks really good and we have a kind of uh, bimodal distribution here and this doesn't really look like a good candidate for transformation to me and let's take a look at the punk percent histogram so we have a kind of uh, long right tail for this distribution and this looks kind of a uh, better fit for our transformation than the previous one than this one and we can see we have a few outliers here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to transform this uh, distribution into something better and uh, pull in uh, the outliers and the skewed data 
and get a better distribution for this uh, graph. So we're gonna uh, so we're gonna try to transform the values of the features that form this graph and get a better distribution for this. So in this lesson, we're gonna work with a box Cox power transformation and uh, the base form of box Cox power transformation is y to the power x. So y is a value of uh, or y is a value that we are trying to transform and x is the exponent we, we are working with. So we uh, generally work with a range of exponents and we try to uh, test all of those exponents on the values and try to transform the values using this uh, formula y to the power x and uh, try to determine which uh, transformation looks the best or which transformation gives us the best uh, distribution graph and these are the few steps that we need to follow for uh, the transformation so first we need to determine the range of exponents to test so in this example I'm gonna use uh, a range of 1 till 5 so the value of x is gonna range between 1 and 5 so it's gonna be 1 2 3 4 and 5 the value of x and y would be the actual value that we have inside our uh, cell right so we are working with uh, the punctuation percent histogram or we are working with the uh, data or we are working with the uh, cells that form the punct percent histogram and we are trying to uh, transform that data so we are working with this column and we are working with this data and we are trying to transform this data so that we get a better distribution uh, for this column right punk portion column so uh, these are the steps that we need to perform first we need to determine the range of exponents to test so we're going to test from 1 through 5 and uh, we're going to apply transformation to each value of your chosen feature so we're going to apply the transformation to all the values inside a punk portion column uh, in our data frame and then we try to determine which transformation yields the best distribution so once we apply all the transformations and we have all the distributions or all the graphs in front of us we're trying to uh, we're going to try to determine which transformation yields the best distribution for us right so for applying the transformations i'm going to say for i in and this is going to be a range so this is a range for our exponents that we're trying to test so i'm going to say one two three four and five and uh, we are trying to we are trying to plot so i would say pi plot dot hist and we are working with the punk percent column of data set so I would say punk percent and we are trying to provide a transformation or we are trying to apply a transformation so I'm gonna say I 1 by I and uh, I'm going to pass in the bins so I'm just going to say bins equals 40 so I'm just going to say that we need 40 bins and I'm not going to mention the the lower limit and the upper limit for the bins because we have we having different uh, distributions right and I would say pyplot dot title that's going to provide the title for the for, for, for the distribution diagram and I say uh, transformation one divided by and give a placeholder and I'm gonna say dot format and we are gonna say str of i so i is uh, an integer and I'm gonna transform or we're gonna convert it to a string and I'm gonna say pyplot.show 
and let's go ahead and run this all right this should be i okay so for our first transformation the value of i is one so we are just plotting the same data that we have so this graph looks the same kind of similar to this one and we can see we still have the uh, long right tail for this distribution and for i uh, i equals to two that is the transformation of one by two we can see the tail is kind of pulled in and we have this stack here that's getting separated from this diagram and this is basically the messages that have zero uh, punctuation right and as we increase the value of x so if x equals to 1 by 3 we can see that this tail has been pulled in even more and this is a more compact diagram and for 1 by 4 it is even more compact and this looks much better than the other ones and 1 by 5 is a really compact diagram and this is something what we are looking for so 1 by 4 and 1 by 5 both look good distributions to be considered and we can go ahead and uh, apply uh, or choose any of 1 by 4 or 1 by 5 uh, transformation and apply the transformation on the punk percent column for a uh, data frame right so that is how we can transform our data or transform uh, the features the values that form the features and get a better distribution that can be used for building our model and that is all about this chapter and in the next chapter we're going to take a look at how we can create the actual models out of our data set so i hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for the next one bye